Our gospel of today is taken from the gospel of John chapter 16 verses 23 to 28. In these verses, Jesus speaks about a theme which he has mentioned often in the past and that theme is confidence in the Lord and confidence in the Father. And so in these verses, he tells the disciples how they must pray and how they must petition the Lord. They have to believe in their hearts even before they can utter the prayer, even before they can speak the prayer, even before they can recite the prayer, that what they are asking for will be theirs. In the Gospel of Mark chapter 11, verses 22 to 25, when Jesus gives his disciples a lesson on prayer, this is what he says, that when you pray, believe that what you are asking is already received and it will be yours. In the Magnificat, which we find in the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verses 39 following, our Blessed Mother gives us an example of this saying of Jesus that we must believe before we receive what we are praying for when she uses verbs in the past tense to describe future events. The events that Mary speaks about have not yet occurred and yet she speaks about them by using verbs in the past tense as if they have already occurred because of her confidence, because of her trust, because of her faith in the Lord. The Lord is telling his disciples in the gospel text of today that they must have the same confidence. There are times in our lives when our prayers are answered. And the reason why our prayers are answered is because God's will and our will coincides. But there are times in our lives when we think our prayers are unanswered, however they are, because it only means that God's will does not coincide with ours and God's will is done in our lives. Even though we may not be able to always see it clearly at a particular moment, the truth and the fact is this, that God's will for us is always better than what we want for ourselves as is very clear in the prayer which Jesus makes in Gethsemane. There he prays for his own will that the cup be taken away but he does not forget to add to his prayer that the Father's will be done. We know that the cup was not taken away because it did not coincide with God's will and Jesus had to go to the cross. But we also know that it was better for Jesus to go to the cross because only then could he be raised. And so we hear the Lord and we go to our prayer with the same confidence and trust in the Father and in Jesus. At the end of every prayer, we must never forget to add, as the Lord has taught us, not my will, but yours be done. I am fond of telling people that there has never been a prayer of mine which has been unanswered. And the reason why this is so is because at the end of every prayer I make, I add, not my will, but yours be done. Sometimes the Lord's will and mine coincides, and my will, and therefore the Lord's will is done. At other times, the Lord's will and my will are different, and the Lord's will is done. In every case, however, my prayer is answered because I add, not my will, but yours be done. Will you, at the end of every prayer you make, add also, not my will, but yours be done.